All right. I'm going to let the traffic go by here real quick, but I did get my six cents monthly subscription in. I got a new tripod. I kind of want to see how this looks. But I figured I'd open up the bait box. Oh! For you guys. Look at that. That should have been a Christmas sack. Look at that. That white and red. And it's a big sack too. I noticed this sack is a little heavier than most of them. So probably some good stuff in here. But first up, so it feels a soft plastic. Clout. <clears throat> Excuse me. Clout cinnamon crave. There. Well, I've never seen this one before. <clears throat> Should have brought something to drink out here with me. Whoa. I don't know if you guys can see the colors. It's like purplish. Mm, the peach. Let me go get something to drink real quick. <laughs> yes. Mm. Oh, man. Mm. Now maybe I can talk. But it's got a purple hue, that little bit of cinnamon brown with a black fleck, blue. Here it comes. All right, we're back. Now back to what we're talking about the baits. We're gonna give you a little arc down, so you can get a good look at it. There we go. But yeah, the Cloud 5.4 in cinnamon crave. Got a purple hue. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. With cinnamon and purple and black fleck. I'm not too big on worm fishing, but I like that color. That's a really good looking color. How many did you get in the pack? Ten. Excuse me. A ten count. I probably got a. I might just have to do a giveaway sometime. Of all these worms and stuff I get because I, I really don't use them so like except for like in the hottest part of the summer look at that more divine shaky worms and there's this June bug red I think I've already got a pack of these I already opened for the channel but I don't think it was in June bug red that one I really like that'd be one I would actually use that nice air soft tail. We got that green and red fleck in there. Like a purple, like a plum, purple plum. Purple color. That one actually, that one probably work year round. I don't care if it's clear water, muddy water. That'd work. <laughs> another soft plastics and one I actually do like it is the green pumpkin Ned Fry 4.6 inch that right there that's a killer bait I showed that one before in a different color I think it was black and blue yeah that one right there that green pumpkin that works everywhere. I don't care who you are right there. That works great. Love them. I'm not a big fan of plastics. Still going to say it. Always going to say it. But I am a fan of the plastics. Or, or the card baits. A real big fan of the hard baits. <laughs> oh! This one I have not been able to get my hands on yet. That is the Dogma 100. I love walking baits. My buddy loves them too. Lighting's not that great out here, is it? It's kind of putting off a glare. So, in that case, we'll just open it up so you can get a better look at it without the glare of the plastic. Yeah. Bone. That's got to be Spanish something, I bet. Ghost Spanish Pearl. 
I can't wait to get start hitting the top water. Great sound too. That one. Woo. I tell you, I haven't had my channel long and I haven't really been able to show you guys top water videos. I haven't just started it last year and I really look forward to actually putting some top water for you guys to see. And I just seen one of my all-time favorite baits. Lipless. Da -da. Yeah. Looks like a sexy shad. SNSD. I don't know what SNSD is short for, but I'm going to call it sexy shad. We'll call it the sneaky shad since they want to go SNSD. We'll call it the sneaky shad. And it's got that kind of a sexy shad, but it's got a silver color on the top and a yellow stripe white down the bottom. And it's got a little white, a little yellow right there too. Right there, that hook, and that's actually an awesome idea because they'll come up and they'll go for that from underneath. And as always, the great line ties they have with these and the great hooks. Mm, I love their gear. Said it before, I'll say it again. Six hooks makes the hard ba best hard baits in the business. Nobody can beat them. I love lipless crankbaits. I'll throw this everywhere. So much so that I'll eventually put it into a stump or a rock and never see it again. Not the order another one. But I don't mind because that's fun. And I still, look at that sack. Come on, tell me that sack is not sick. I'm going to have to keep that in the house, keep that pristine nice. I'm too much of a redneck to have something this nice. All right. Oh, Cloud 9 Mini Mag. M M A G S M M A G G S. It's like the underground fighter of crankbaits coming at you in the Thunderdome. <laughs> Call what is that? McGregor? McGregor, look out! Oh, that is pretty. It's got a gold. Kind of the top. You roll it down. It's got purple. Hue in there. Got a nice underbelly color. Kind of a pinkish. Like a orange. And then it's got a purple hue. You can't probably can't see on the video. But it's got a just like a slight purple hue on the bottom of it. I don't throw these big ones too often, but I do like to throw them. The only bad part about throwing crankbaits is, you know, eventually you're going to lose them. I don't have a boat. Well, I do have a boat, but I don't use a boat most of the time. So I fish for the bank. You stick those suckers into a, a big old rock bank, and you're done. Unless you go diving for it. But speaking of diving, got the Cloud 9, I think. Cloud 9 C6. This is, I had this in Rambo Red. I'm going to take this in Rambo Red. I caught my PB. It's 4.88, just over, just under five, just over four and three quarters. That one's good looking. It says medium diver, Cloud 9 C6, C8ST. I'll tell you, you need like a degree to understand the colors. Because <laughs> there's so many different colors they use. And this one's awesome too. It's got that gold along the back. It's got that moss green kind of fading in and out from the the body. Pretty cool. That one actually. Got, oh! And he is yellow on the bottom. Yellow belly. I'm going to chase the yellow belly down. Yeah. That's it for this. This unboxing, guys, that's it. That's all of it. So, I do appreciate you guys watching. And uh, see you for the next one.